the problem of inflation and how so many people watching tonight believe their money is worth less tomorrow than it is today because of the inflation rate. Can a senator do anything about it? Congressman Schiff, we'll have you start. Yeah, there's, there's a lot that a California senator can do about this. Uh, and you're right. People are working harder the, than ever. The problem today uh, is not that people aren't working. The problem is they are working and they just can't make enough to get by. And the answer is not paying people less to try to keep inflation down. Uh, the answer is bringing down the cost of goods, bringing down the cost of housing, bringing down the cost of child care. We want to strengthen our economy. We need a way to make sure that uh, people can have good access to quality child care uh, and in particularly women can participate in the workforce. That will raise the economy. But more than that, we need to bring down energy costs. We can do this with a windfall profits tax on oil companies. We can bring down the cost of housing by building a lot more housing. Conan, uh, my family came to California when I was 11 in search for a better life. And we found it here. My wife, uh, Eve, and yes, we're Adam and Eve. Her family also came here uh, in search of a better life. And she found it here. Um, I want that to be true for future generations of Californians. And the way we can make that possible is by bringing down the cost of goods and Thank particularly you. housing. Thank you. Uh, Congresswoman Porter, inflation. Good evening, California. We need to make sure that Washington is focusing on our biggest challenge, which is the cost of living. Decade after decade, career politicians haven't focused on our challenges, including the cost of housing, the cost of child care, the cost of elder care, the cost of college. Yes, we need to make sure that workers get paid a wage that reflects what they contribute at their companies and at their jobs. But we also need Washington to get in the game. Decade after decade, they haven't been there. You can't raise a wage an hour or two and close the tremendous gap that people face in trying to afford childcare or college. My colleague, Representative Schiff, says, for example, that he wants to bring down the costs of child care, but he isn't on either of the two major Democratic bills that would do that. He's not on a bill to provide rental assistance to people for housing, although all of these things are in his plans. That's the thank, gap between Congressman you, Schiff and candidate Schiff. Thank you, Mr. Garvey. Well, these career politicians, uh, three years ago, they were on the watch that has created what it is today. When the president took office, he signed 90 different bills. And what he did was he, he turned off gas and oil. And when that happens, energy goes through the roof. It affects all elements of our life. But what really happened is the overspending in Washington, which caused inflation. And it goes from the table in the morning where mom's trying to figure out the week whether she can feed her children as she wants to, to the gas station where we've seen uh, gas go up two, three dollars. And by the way, uh, when I go to the gas station at 7.30 in the morning, hardworking Californians are, are going there. They're not buying 10 gallons. They're buying $10 worth of gas. And then it goes to schools and affordability. But this was all on their watch. Thank you, Mr. Garvey. I, Congressman Lee, you're sticking by the $50 an hour minimum wage. Let's be honest. First of all, um, we have to talk about what it takes for people to live in California. We have a huge affordability crisis. The cost of living is much too high. First, at the federal level, of course, we have to raise the minimum wage. We haven't raised it in a decade. $7.25 to $17 in 2025. Okay, great first step. But in California, for example, we have $16 an hour now. Uh, and believe you me, every single study that you have seen that has been written about the affordability crisis in California, people are working two and three jobs just to pay rent, just to afford childcare. We have to think about and talk about a living wage. What does it mean to have a living wage in California? Over $100,000 in many parts of California, people are just barely surviving. They're living on the edge. So we have to think about what it takes to make sure that people can afford to live in California. You, that means a living wage. Thank you, Congresswoman. Mr. Schiff, you were mentioned by uh, Congresswoman Porter. You have 15 seconds to respond to that. Uh, Conan, there's nothing easier than putting your name on a bill. Uh, where you see the real legislators is they write their own legislation. I've introduced numerous bills to bring down the cost of child care, to make sure that we build child care into new federal facilities. 
that we raise the wages for child care workers. We have a real scarcity, not of people willing to do child care work, but of people willing to do it for poverty wages. So my legislation would raise uh, incomes for those incredibly uh, essential workers. I don't think any family should be spending more than 5 or 10 percent of their income on child care, so I would provide a tax credit as okay, well for child care. Uh, so 